Jennifer and everybody over at Brocktown Roofing. My name is Kylie. I'm with Ringin SEO and Digital Marketing. It was a uh, pleasure speaking with you this morning, Jennifer. Um, I'm going to go over a couple things with you guys today. Uh, just little things you can do to improve on your own with your online presence, your website, and your Google My Business page. The three things we're going to talk uh, about today are um, content, citations, and backlinks. So since we're on the homepage of your website, I'm just going to go ahead and get started with content first. Content isn't just the words that are on your page. Content is also the images that are on your page and how they're saved. So going through your website, you know, your homepage and all additional service pages and making sure that all of your pictures are saved as buyer intent keywords and key phrases is going to help you guys out a ton. Um, we'll go through what those mean in a little bit. But I just wanted to make sure we pointed that out while we're on here. Uh, besides that, content is also what's behind the images on your page. So it's site titles, meta descriptions, alt tags, um, etc. And then content is king in the eyes of Google. And Google likes to see about a minimum of 1,500 words on your homepage or any service pages that you're trying to be uh, found for. Um, after that, you know, if you just have like about us pages and things like that, uh, those aren't as important as these main pages, but, um, you know, 500 words to 750 words minimum on those pages uh, is going to help too. I'm going to hop on over here and start talking about citations. Uh, you may be finding yourself asking, uh, what are citations? And citations are basically anywhere that your business name, address, and phone number are listed uh, through various directories throughout the web. Uh, when I say directories, I mean like Yelp, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Yellow Pages, Twitter, uh, Better Business Bureau. They've got one right here. One here's a directory. Um, so those are going to give you citations. Citations are what's going to help get you into this first uh, th one to three positions in this Google Map Pack here. Um, so, you know, you go and you look at your competitors. You see how many they have and where they're getting them from. And then you can piggyback off of that and then just do a little bit more than what they have. And that's what's going to help give you that extra boost into this one to three position so that you're being more uh, found more often for the services that you offer. And in return, it's going to bring you more business. In order to rank in the top three of this uh, Google Map Pack here, you actually have to be ranking organically as well. So your website needs to have the adequate power that it needs. And then also focusing on your Google My Business page. Uh, basically, the two go hand in hand. And, and here I'll just, so, so uh, mommy Ohio roofing would be um, a key phrase that, you know, you might want to be seen for and, and get some business from. And like I said here too, so if I type that in, you're not, you're not pulling up here. Okay. Anyway, so I've got your Google My Business page pulled up here. You've got 55 Google reviews, which is fantastic. Uh, we'd like to see about a minimum of 25. You've got your business address, which is great. You've got your phone number. Um, and you've got your business name, you've got your website integrated on here, directions, all that fun stuff. Uh, one thing we recommend, uh, just like on your website, is to make sure that every photo on your Google My Business page is saved as a buyer intent keyword or key phrase. And then also having a minimum of 10 photos on here. Um, there is also a, a special way that Google likes to see these images saved um, as far as size goes. And that also helps make it easier and uh, gives you a little bit of boost as well. The third thing I want to talk to you about is backlinks. Uh, this is a paid tool that I use. It's called AREPS, and it gives me an overview of the power to a website. A backlink is basically one website linking to another website, uh, telling Google, hey, this website is trustworthy. Um, we trust them, right? So with that being said, not all backlinks are created equal. Uh, we all know that not all sites on the web are trust trustworthy sites. Um, some are spammy, uh, et cetera. So paying, paying close attention to, you know, where you're getting these links from, these referring domains, is particularly uh, uh, important when you're putting power to your website. So uh, go through, use some tools, make sure that you're not pulling links from spammy websites. Uh, you know, with this current, uh, we like to see this more like a one-to-one, -one, so the power, you know, as close to one-to-one -one as possible. Um, and it looks like with your domain rating being a little bit less, that some of these sites you may have on here or links you have on here uh, may be a little bit spammy, which you really want to watch out for because over time that's actually going to cause you um, some problems. 
Since we're in here, I want to take a peek at your organic keywords that you're uh, being found for on your website when Google crawls it. And what I want to show you here is, you know, how important it is to not focus your time, energy, and, um, mo and money on keywords that are not going to benefit you, right? So this first one here that pops up is actually a prime example of what I'm talking about. So, you know, roof repair contractor is great. Um, however, it's got only 350 volume globally. So, you know, the odds of being found for this keyword are not, it's not consistent. So, you know, you might see one or two from this in a, in a long uh, time frame. So not on a monthly basis. Coming down here, um, obviously you're going to rank high for your own roofing name. Uh, roofing Toledo, Ohio, 200 volume, a little bit difficult of a keyword. You're in ninth position, so you're not doing too bad there. Uh, what I did notice is that your uh, positions are actually starting to go down. Um, so either you've done SEO in the past and you stopped doing it, or um, you're, you're, you've got some spammy sites on there and that could be hurting you as well. So, you know, if in the future you're interested, we could definitely go in and try to narrow down why this is happening. Um, my guess is just because, you know, you got to where you needed and you just kind of maybe stopped doing it. Um, so keeping at it, making sure those sites aren't spammy, uh, get that power and authority that you need to your website to be found for these keywords that are really, really going to help you. Uh, not global keywords, but um, service and location specific to where you, uh, your services are. Um, roofing companies in Toledo, Ohio, that'd be one that you want to get found for. Uh, emergency roof repair near me would be global, you, you know, not, not super important. Great to have it on there, uh, but not where you want to focus your time. So. Um, I hope that that information was helpful to you in some way, shape, or form. Uh, I'd love to speak with you guys more to really narrow down, you know, what you can do to be seen more often um, for these keywords in your area and get in those top one to three positions and really start seeing uh, more business coming through your door. I hope you guys have a fantastic 2021, and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video.